my fellow South Africans, let me start this morning by expressing my absolute condemnation of the violent attack on motorists by members of the ANC's VIP Protection Force. Many of us have seen the horrific video by now, showing a gang of heavily armed men assaulting helpless citizens. Now let's be clear about one thing. What we see in that video represents exactly what the ANC really thinks of the people of South Africa. We, all the people of South Africa, are the ones down on the ground. And the ANC are the thugs masquerading as a government, stomping on our necks. From Andreas Tatane to Marikana, this is not the first time we have seen a murderous abuse of power by the ANC security forces directed at ordinary citizens. This is no accident. The ANC spends 1.7 billion rand of taxpayer money every year to maintain this VIP unit as their own personal army to push you and I out of the way on the road and to perpetrate violence as we saw in that video. And as long as the ANC is in power, they will keep stomping on us. And this is why the topic of my address this morning is so fundamentally important. Because the Moonshot Pact is aimed at forming a strong united opposition, providing a way for us to break free from the abuse our country suffers at the hands of the ANC every day. Three months ago, I spoke to you from the floor of the DA's Federal Congress. At the time, I shared with you the outcome of my deep reflection and introspection about the way forward for our deeply troubled country. Like many of you, and indeed like many other opposition leaders, I came to the inescapable conclusion that forming a united opposition pact ahead of the 2024 election offers us the very best chance to unseat the ANC, keep the EFF out of power, and form a, an alternative that will provide a stable new government to rescue South Africa. This moonshot pact would bring together different parties, excluding the ANC, the EFF, and their proxies, to ensure that the opposition focuses our collective energies on defeating the ANC and providing an alternative, rather than focusing on attacking each other. I said at the time that this is the single most important project for any opposition leader who wants to create a better future for our country and for our citizens. And I said at the time that I would keep you updated as that process unfolds. Today I can provide encouraging feedback through hours of open, honest, and respectful discussion. Six parties have established sufficient common ground to hold a national convention for the Moonshot Pact. These parties are the Democratic Alliance, the IFP, the Freedom Front Plus, Action South Africa, the United Independent Movement, and the Spectrum National Party. The convention will take place on the 16th and 17th of August at the very same venue that hosted the historic CODESA negotiations. The DA is deeply committed to this process, and we believe that this convention will indeed be the most important political conversation to take place in our country since the transition to democracy in 1994. We believe that the outcome could provide opposition voters with something that they've never had before, and that is a credible prospect of victory. By working together, the pact can be greater than the sum of our collective parts. By showing that South Africa can be rescued if we only have the courage to stand together, I believe that the pact can energize the 13 million voters who are not registered to do so and give the 14 million people who are registered but failed to vote in 2021 a new reason to vote. A successful convention will also provide the certainty and stability that will be so crucial 
to forming a pact government in 2024 that can offer an alternative and can deliver. Despite the DA being part of over 25 examples of successful municipal coalitions in South Africa that are improving people's lives and rolling out service delivery as we speak, many people are still wary of coalitions given the attention that has been paid to the few that have not worked out well. That is precisely why the National Convention is designed to negotiate many of the key elements of a post-2024 alternative government up front so that we don't have to rush to meet some two-week deadline after the election. Now, if all goes well, the pact will emerge from the Convention with clearly defined values and principles, a common minimum program of action, and a formula that will hopefully show South Africa what an alternative pact cabinet could look like. Now join me for a moment to just imagine a new cabinet, free from the rotten ANC cadres that have run our country into the ground. A new cabinet comprised of skilled leaders from different opposition parties that represent the full diversity of South Africa, all united in a common purpose. A new government driven not by self-enrichment and corruption, but by an overwhelming desire to serve the people. A government that combines the DA's proven track record of good, clean and accountable governance with the diverse strengths and talents of our partners in the other parties. It is precisely because the DA and many of our partners have spent years holding the ANC accountable from the opposition benches that we know how to run a fundamentally better government. From the arms deal to Nkandla to Palapala, we have exposed and fought every conceivable ANC failure and scandal up close from the opposition benches, often side by side. It's now time for the opposition to govern South Africa side by side. Now to do so, the pact needs a national majority of 50% plus one. And the six parties that will be around the table collectively achieved around 35% of the vote in 2021. Of this share, the DA got 21%. Now, encouragingly, by-election results from just this past week showed the DA growing by 17% in Middleburg and Pumalanga, 12% in Cape Town, 3% in Chwane, and 17% in Itigweni. Across widely diverse parts of South Africa, the DA is growing substantially on the way to forming a strong anchor for a post-ANC coalition government. But it is when we combine our growing strength with partners and like-minded parties that we can make the magic really happen. If all members of the pact focus on winning over former ANC supporters and getting disillusioned voters to register and then to turn out in large numbers, we can get to 50%. We can form a new government. And yes, we can rescue South Africa. And the same is true for many of the provinces. The DA is on track to achieve another smashing victory in the Western Cape, where our story of excellent service delivery for all began. An overwhelming DA majority in the Western Cape will add significantly to the pact's national total. Now add to that Gauteng, where the pact is collectively already polling at 48%, just two percentage points short of forming a government to kickstart our country's economic engine. In KwaZulu-Natal, the pact is on 44%, within striking distance of providing a new government for my beautiful home province. But the Northern Cape and the Free State are also in play. The overall picture makes it clear that the pact has absolutely everything to play for, both at a provincial and a national level. But the truth is that this mission to rescue South Africa cannot succeed without your help. Even if the convention proceeds smoothly and the pact finds the common ground we need to form a new government, we will fail without you. And that is why I call upon you to go to check.votda.org. That's check 
www.votda.org right now to get help registering. But we also need to be clear about what we should not do if we want the pact to succeed. The most important thing we should not do is to vote for parties that pretend to be in opposition but are actually merely fronts for the ANC. And I call on you to turn your back on those so-called opposition parties that are not part of this pact. Any political leaders who refuse to put the needs of South Africa ahead of the narrow interests of their party do not deserve your vote in this next election. Parties mired in corruption like the Patriotic Alliance and others like al Jaman Good have also sold out to the ANC, do not deserve your vote. If a party is not part of the pact and working together side by side to bring in place a new government, then they're on the side of assisting the ANC and the EFF. My fellow South Africans, while the political leaders inside the pact have the responsibility to lead by example, by working together in the national interest, the success of the pact will ultimately depend on the people of South Africa doing the same. The DA hopes that the pact will set a worthy example of how South Africans from all backgrounds can unite and take action around a common set of values and policies to rescue our beautiful country. All that we ask is that you, as a voter, now do the same. Just like we in the pact are doing, I'm asking you today to reach out to your fellow South Africans. Persuade them that just like the parties inside the pact, we need to take action together by all going out to register to rescue South Africa. I believe we can do this. I believe our country's best days lie ahead of us. And I believe that through united action, we can put our country onto a trajectory of hope, prosperity, and opportunity for all of our citizens. Thank you very much. election, only the registered have the power. If you're tired of load shedding, register to vote. If you're tired of corruption, register to vote. If you're tired of the rising cost of living, register to vote. And if you're tired of a government that's continuously working against you, register to vote. Go to check.da.org.za and let's give power to the register. Thanks for watching. Like and follow our page on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. Tell us what you think in the comment section. And please, like and share our videos with your friends and family. Join the DA. Join the fight to save South Africa.